Hello drummers, how are you today? I'm so glad you joined me in this video. I hope you're doing well and I hope you've been having time to play and enjoy your instrument. What I'd like to do today in this video is just go over some of the very basic first things that we ever covered with our drums so that uh, we can review the basics and build up our mastery of the fundamentals. So next time we get back together, whether it's our band or a different band, you're set to go and, and all caught up. So a couple things you're gonna need, obviously your drums, your drum sticks, a music stand, and your lesson book. And for the purposes of this video, and you don't have to, but I'm gonna be using my drum pad too, just to save a little bit of the, the banging sound. This is a nice uh, option for, for playing in a home. So here we go. Let's go right to page five in the book. It's called our very first note. And what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be using our regular stroke, and we're gonna be alternating between four on our right, and four in our left hand. So let's review just the basic stroke. Remember when we're holding the drumstick, we want to have about this much showing at the back of our hand. If your hand is too far forward, or pardon me, too far back, you won't see the drumstick. If it's too far forward, you're going to see a lot of drumstick. So we want to see just about an inch and a half on that side, inch and a half on this side. And remember, when we're holding the drumsticks, we're not giving a good tight grip for dear life. We want to make sure that the drumsticks are able to flex and move in our hand. And the way that we facilitate that is primarily holding the drumstick between our thumb and our first knuckle of our first finger. So it's kind of cradled in there with our thumb in between. That allows this hinging motion to happen. So when we're playing, there's a little bit of a hinge that happens there. These last three fingers cradle up underneath, not tightly, but just keep it cradled so that it doesn't bounce out of control. If you do that on that hand and on the same thing on this hand, drumstick, cradled in between the first and two knuckles or your, your, the first two joints of your first finger and your thumb, last three fingers kind of cradle underneath and that allows for a nice fluid motion. So we'll come over here to the drum. We know that we have a home base that lives about two inches above the head of the drum, not way up here and not touching the drum head. So every time we take a drum stroke, it's gonna bounce up to that position and then return back. At no point do the drumsticks point directly up to the ceiling. None of this, none of this, right? At no point do we raise our shoulder to make a drum stroke. It's primarily a wrist, well, we'll start at the bottom, our first finger and thumb, our wrist and our elbow. There's not a lot of shoulder that happens to make that stroke. And remember, as soon as we hit the, the head, our stick rebounds back off the top, okay? Don't stick it to the drum pad like glue, right? We wanna bounce off and live in that home base. We wanna keep the sticks hovering, right? Think of it instead of a downward stroke to the drum head, think of every stroke in an upward direction. Up, 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 almost as if you're pulling the sound out of the drum. Let's practice that a little bit. Let's do right, left, right, left. Ready, set, here we go. Right, left, right, left. All right, let's go into the book. On page five, number two, this is our first note. We're gonna start with four quarters, right, 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 and then we're going to rest for four beats. We have four quarter rests, and then we're gonna follow that up with left, 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 left. Another set of four rests, and then right again. So here we go. One, two, ready, begin. Right, 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 right. Rest, and now we will do the left. Left, 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 left. Now we will go back to right. Right, 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 right. How'd you do? Did you remember to keep the drumsticks hovering? Was it an upward motion? Did the stick stay at home base? I hope so. Let's move on. On page five, we will do 
our second note. This is where we're going to alternate between the right and the left for every note with a rest of four in between. Here we go. Our second note, this is number three on page five. One, two, ready, go. Right, left, right, left, rest, two, keep your sticks hovering, and right, left, right, left. Last time, ready, and here we go. Right, left, right, left. Excellent. Let's take the same concept and we'll apply it to the two note tango. Also on page five, this is number four, we are going to continue with our right and left alter, uh, alternation, but the rest pattern changes a little bit. Instead of having four beats of rest, we're actually gonna play three quarter notes in that space and leave only one beat of rest. Here we go. If it helps to say the rest out loud, I encourage you to do that. Here we go. Number four, two note tango on page five. One, two, ready, and go. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Rest, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Rest, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, rest, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, rest, right, left, right, rest. How'd you do? Let's move on. Our third note, page five. This is number five. One, two, Ready, go. Right, left, right, left. Right, left, right, left. Rest, two, three, four. Right, left, right, left. Did you alternate the hands? Did you count the four beats of rest? That's so important to count those rests in your head. But being a drummer, you can also count them out loud because you don't have to use your mouth to play your instrument. It's very lucky. Let's keep going. Let's move to page six, turn the page. Let's play the three note combo. Watch where the rests pop up and we're gonna say them. We're gonna alternate our right and our left, but I won't say right and left, but we'll leave spots to say the rests. Ready? Here we go. One, two, ready, and play. Rest. 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 Rest, 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 rest. Did you catch all those rests? Some of them were pretty tricky, just be careful. Let's try number seven on page six. Third time's the charm. Again, we won't verbalize right and left, but I would like you to say rest with me. See where they fall, they might trick you. One, two, ready, play. Rest. 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 How did that go? Let's keep moving forward. Don't forget, keep your sticks hovering. Don't get a strong grip. Make sure it's able to bounce and cradle with both hands. Here we go. Match the pitch, number eight. We start out with nothing in the first measure. 
That's a rest of four. So let's try number eight. We'll count out our rests out loud. Ready? Here we go. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, rest, two, three, four. Rest. The more you say the rests out loud, the better you'll get at keeping that spot open for silence. Number nine, a breath of fresh air. We're going to be doubling up our sticks now. We're going to be doing right rights and left left. And there's a couple of rests thrown in there also, so be careful. Here we go, a breath of fresh air, number nine on page six. One, two, ready, play. Rest, rest, rest. I hope that was great. Let's do another one. Breathing easy, number 10 on page six. Now we're alternating between right and left and you'll see the sticking left and right in your book but there's also some rests, so be careful. Let's say the rests out loud. Ready? Good standing posture. Hover those sticks above the drum head, and here we go. One, two, ready, go. Rest. Rest. Rest, rest. Rest. Rest, rest. Let's do one more together for today. We'll go to number 11 on page six. Three easy does it. Same concepts. Watch the right and left sticking and watch those rests. Say the rests out loud with me. One, two, ready, begin. Rest. Rest, 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 rest. How did you do? It seems strange to go back to doing something so basic after we've already progressed in the book, but it's so important to come back to the fundamentals. One of the reasons why professional musicians are so good at what they do, it's because they've mastered the fundamentals. And that's important for us to focus on too. No matter how far we progress, we've got to come back to these very basic skills. The very basic stroke on the drum. Holding the stick correctly. Getting the correct stroke. Getting the correct hovering. The correct body position height of the drum. All these things are very, very important to remind yourself to continually do well. This is a great way to warm up before you do any new stuff or any more advanced stuff. Come back and do this. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed playing along. It's my plan and hope to continue to do other videos so that we can progress further in the book as we go. But use this as a regular time to come back to those fundamentals because that's really where the skills start. Thanks so much, drummers. Be well, be safe, and I really hope to see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.